Hey. Hello. How are Hi. you? Hello from um, Ireland. Hello from Turkey. Mm -hmm. How are you today? So I am extremely great today. I'm in my home place in Ireland. This is my little cottage in the country created by the magical tools of access consciousness. We are coming together today to have a conversation about something that I get is going to ripple through everything in access in the next months, weeks, years, weeks, months, years. And it is looking at your value and your worth. And yeah, and I have a call coming up tomorrow night. I'm, I'm really enthusiastic about this call. I have a call coming up tomorrow night called Your Worth is Non-Negotiable. And what that means is that my value and me knowing that I am worthy of having everything, that can only be diminished by myself. And so I asked you to come on and have a little conversation about your worth is non-negotiable. Because for me, I'm going to say this, I've been playing with the tools of access for 10 years since March, March 16th. And truth be told, I only really got that, I only really got to my worth being non-negotiable recently. And, and that really is what the call is all about, you know? Yeah. And I just want to say, like, uh, it, it is, like, such a, like, beautiful topic. Yeah. And I was just, like, when you, like, in the beginning when you were talking, like, I just, like, realized, like, I, and I was looking like this today, like, Actually, I choose to get to give the life that I would like to have in my life to myself. And like, it is like a choice. And I was just like looking at like, am I really like willing to like give that to myself? And yeah, it just like for me, it's just like, and I was just like having like conversations with like, like different people around this like topic in the last couple of days. And like what's coming up is just like so beautiful. Like with everything, everybody have like a very different perspective of like what is their worth. And like, I'm actually like personally like super excited. And yeah, and I, I actually want to like ask you like how I know like you are not like always like, uh, like where you are like today. And like really like what changed and what like choices you made to actually like see you as a value, like as value. As the valuable product, yeah. And yeah. that actually, like, and I'm just going to say like one of the things like with about you, like I really, really, really like, respect, like you don't actually willing to give up the value of you for like no one or anything. And yeah. I love how the dog loves this topic. <laughs> <laughs> he's like yes you are valuable <laughs> and so one of the things that gary and simone Melissa's, she just said we're at jcf training and guess what the topic of the whole training is your worth you are worth way more than what you have been choosing way more simone Melissa's from today's jcf training and so for me i didn't even acknowledge the value of how psychic i am i didn't one of the things that I didn't acknowledge is how I have people's backs, how I'm always there, how that's easy for me. And so as long as I was, I'm going to say, going to relationship with myself through this reality, the reality that dismisses consciousness, dismisses knowing, values rightness, values this is the way we're supposed to be. I couldn't see the value of me as long as I was looking into this reality. And I was buying so many lies and so many judgments about my worth that like if I was if I was to tell you even one of them, knowing you, you you would just actually start laughing. You know, like I thought I was worth nothing. Like I thought there was no value in me. I thought I was a waste of space. I hated myself. I mean, I now know I have a beautiful face. I thought I was ugly fat like I whoever's reality that I was seeing myself through I was not seeing myself through the reality that other people see me and I'm going to say it took a while for me to recover or even to dislodge the abusive relationship with myself whereby everybody's needs I was only a value if I was looking after other people's needs which means my value was outside of me 
Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. Oh, ew. Yeah. Yeah. And this is where we can have these lovely conversations and we can go, hey, you're not wrong. This is the way we're programmed, you know. The people that come to me for sessions where they've decided that they have to avoid their own reality and be saved by somebody else or be saving someone, you know, saved or be saving or be saved. I mean, save save or be saved. And this is where we avoid our beauty and our brilliance. And the call tomorrow night is two hours. And I'm, I'm really interested what it'll, I have a sense that this call is going to open something, you know, and what occurs is when we come in as a people, as a tribe, we come in and we start to ask questions and we recognize very clearly that we were seeing ourselves through judgment and through other people's lives. And then we start to perceive ourselves different. And the funny thing is, you cannot logically, linearly get consciousness. But one of the things for me is when I choose to care for me, the movement of the universe is determined by the way I treat myself. And so basically, I'll care for myself, I'll choose for myself. And then what occurs is more people start showing up for my classes, more people want to work with me, more people want to be around me. It's like this crazy trip of caring where instead of like cheating yourself, like, are you cheating yourself out of your worth? Maybe that's what we should call it. it. (laughs) So you're like cheating yourself with all these lies that are behind you. And what we're inviting you to choose is perceive consciousness as your back. And would consciousness say you're not worth that? Or you can't have that? I can't afford it. When I say I can't afford this, I'm saying I'm not worth bringing that forth. Huh? So for me, you know, I'm worthy of having a beautiful life. So are you. I'm worthy of having a life that is a gift to me. And we are beautiful beings on this journey. And my point of view is if we don't change the way that we relate to ourselves, change your change your relationship with yourself and change your life. Yeah. I love it. Like you you just like uh like drop some <laughs> <laughs> huge, huge like bombs and I, I i get like one of the things you said it's like um we see ourselves like through like other people's lies and like yeah i, I, I was just like um like looking that for myself and actually it's like something that i'm like keep working on like really willing to be like like working on like the presence that i like i am with like everything that's going on and like really not to go into other people's realities about me i'm really like uh like seeing like the beauty of me and like what i'm actually like contributing like everything around me mm-hmm. and yeah and you said like something like you like in like today's like one of your calls like you like actually universe like always like going to contribute to us but actually we are refusing it to yeah because we haven't been invited to that caring no one tells you, yeah, you're worth that. You want, you'd you like to have that. Yeah, you can. Let's ask questions. What what do we have to be and do to create that? What would we have to be to have that? So for me, because I grew up with so much scarcity and it was like we were worth nothing, you know, then I took on those points of views and I related to myself through other point, people's lives instead of what's true about me is I'm this beautiful being, sometimes silly still, but that doesn't mean that I'm not worthy. I'm present, I'm discovering, I'm discovering more of me every day and come in and discover, like, for what reason would you not come in and discover that you are worth way more, way more than what you've been told or what you're choosing? I can't, I'm, honestly, (laughs) this is the, this is the most excited I've been about a call in a long time, so um, my, I'm inviting you to a possibility for you and what else is possible beyond anything we've ever known. And if we truly value ourselves and we truly have that sense of worth and that sense of confidence instead of struggle, 
it's only then that we can trust ourselves and that consciousness can have our back when we have our own hand on our back. So we invite you tomorrow night. Your worth is non-negotiable. 7 p.m. Central European time. Yeah. And how does yeah. it get any better? Absolutely. I'm just, I'm so, I'm really excited for this call too. And Me too. Yeah. What we can discover. Mm. <laughs> Mwah. big hugs to your bodies out there look after you care for you love you and you're worth it